What up, Block fam? Welcome to the episode where we're going over some stuff that we need to talk about. And we've needed to talk about this stuff for a while. So let's go ahead and roll intro and we'll jump right in. All right, so big thing number one. Our exhaust just launched. We have to say huge thanks to you guys because you've made it a massive success. Exhaust just dropped for Softail, Harley Davidson, Milwaukee 8 Softail models. You guys are showing a ton of support. We've gotten a lot of orders. Can't can't say thank you guys enough. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll go out here. Well, there's I, we have a lot of updates. The Road Rock brand hub wall, so uh, we just have to hide the wiring, but it's pretty much all set up finally. So if you guys are in the Central Florida area, you're around here, you wanna come check out one of these Road Rock helmets, actually get your hands on one, try them on, get your size, go for a test ride. Come by Blockhead Garage, we'll set you up. Big thing number two while we're up here, the, our cleaning products that launched, awesome. Great support there as well. Here's a really, really big one. So you guys know the giveaway bike that we have, the Reverend Horton Heat? Well, they're doing a show and we're gonna be there and we've got a bunch of passes to give away. So comment down in the comment section below if you guys are in Central Florida and you want a free pass, we've got a ton of them. Oh, hey buddy. It's Tyson. What you doing? Working. You see all your hands comments? I did. I saw a couple of them. A shit ton. You wanna go ahead and randomly pick a winner? On our exhaust release video uh, for Softail, showing you guys how to install it, I used the word hence in that video. Chris thought it was a good word. As you guys know, I'm a fan of the turnout, but we know there's people out there that do like the other options. Hence, why we give you guys multiple muffler options. Word of the hour, hence. They leave the word hence in the comments. We'll go through and we'll pick one person and we're gonna sign a t-shirt and we're gonna mail it to your ass. And we'll send you stickers and a Joe Dirty Bike blockhead detailing kit. Oh, he so he said, put it in the comments and I'll pick one of y'all. He said, good word. We got a shit ton of y'all commenting hence. the word hence. It's just a random thing that we you don't know, do every Not now and then. Some y'all put hence. Hence? Where the f did you get that? Oh, H-I-N-T-S. Yeah, yeah that's all Do y'all know not how to spell? Chris offered up was a t-shirt from here in Blockhead Garage. We would sign it, package it up, and ship it to you. I upped the ante a little bit, said that we'd throw in our Blockhead cleaning. We call it the Joe Dirty Bike Bundle. Blockhead all-purpose cleaner, your moto suds, your wheel and tire, and where's the detailer? It's the detailer. Yeah, yeah. We, we use all it's these things. There. And then stickers and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and randomly select somebody that commented the word hence. So now there's probably 700 henses oldest to, to newest yep so who is it randomly selected hence comment daniel tonas tonison daniel Ton tonison tonison i do we do this every time with people's last names it's like how the f six five this? six daniel tonison six five six yo daniel yo daniel you're the selected winner get at us so you can so we can ship you some free stuff here cool. you go Cool. All right, congrats, Daniel. We're gonna try and start doing that every now and then just because we want to give back to you guys and it's another little way of driving some engagement and stuff like that. So we did that for our exhaust video. We're just doing a quick update video run through the shop. Anything you guys you want to throw in? Yeah, our exhaust is for sale. <laughs> it doesn't actually say that in the video. Does it not? No, oh, it just shit. says how to install it. You forgot that? Which is fucking shitty. I thought it said it's now no, available. No, no, it says nothing about we have our own exhaust. Hey guys, our exhaust is for sale. We forgot to say that. <laughs> yeah, my bad. That's that's a typical us mistake. So here it is, mocked up on an engine. Uh, we did an install video on how to install your blockhead exhaust. So there it is, the blockhead exhaust. Hey bud. Hi. Hi, you doing good? So back whenever we came out with the uh, exhaust originally, we weren't happy with it. And uh, we kind of went through to release it anyways. And then whenever we released it, we got a lot of feedback from the community, which was kind of talking about a lot of the things that we weren't really satisfied with. And so we unreleased it. 
and we unreleased it to basically go back to the manufacturer drawing board, if you will, uh, because we wanted to give you guys options. We wanted to give you guys different badges, different logos, different mufflers, different finishes. And so we were able to accomplish all those things with unreleasing it and you know waiting a little bit longer. We were also able to update some of the manufacturing stuff in collaboration with Stealth, because we did a co-branded, so it's basically Blockhead by Stealth, who makes a great pipe. Also, he's local, really, really great dude. Yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure to work with. And we've got some really cool things coming up with him as well, so you guys be sure to stay tuned. We released the exhaust for the soft tail, which is over there on Goldzilla. This is the pie cut turnout. We've got the pipe bomb option with the laser, different laser logo on that one. We've got the reverse cone. That's got the badge. We've got a different laser option as well. On the pipe bomb, we've got the mid-length pipe bomb. That's a heavy one. So that's what it looks like on Goldzilla. And we actually got the best power numbers out of her on that one. Now this is what it looks like on uh, Touring. Now we have not released it for Touring yet because we are working on a few final small details to perfect it. These are those things you guys don't really see. We're working hard behind the scenes to make sure it is a quality product through and through. Chris is working on Burt's Barracuda build, the 135 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 that's gonna be supercharged. We're calling it the M8 Abrams. It's coming together. It's got that Krusey Sky Nets, badass front end. It's looking amazing so far. How you feeling about it? It's well, feeling good. Vote yeah. of confidence. It's Hell yeah. Good. Hell yeah, it's feeling great. I'm, I'm in the middle of putting it together. I never feel good. <laughs> MT-09 SP, you guys haven't seen that bike on the channel for a while. That bike is now for sale. Uh, I'm actually selling it uh, to be able to put that towards other projects because it doesn't really get ridden too much with everything else that we have going on. So that's for sale if you guys are interested. This is the, the one that I really wanted to talk about. So this is the bike that we're currently giving away. It is a Sucker Punch Sally previously owned by the Reverend Horton Heat. That is why I showed that flyer. The story behind this bike is crazy. This is the thing that we need to talk about. Over bike week, we had one of the guys that works for Baker Drivetrain. What you doing? Hi, shipping packages. <laughs> Over bike week, one of the guys that you, that works for Baker Drivetrain came into the shop and he was looking at this bike and he was like, yo, this is a sucker punch. And I was like, yeah, sucker punch Sally. Belonged to the Rev. And he's like, no sh He's like, I helped build that bike. He actually used to work for Sucker Punch Sally's before he worked for Baker Drivetrain. He was one of the main fabricators apparently on this bike. I got video of him because he says, hell yeah, I remember that party that they had with the Reverend Horton Heat. It is the Reverend. Yeah, so yeah. we got a visit from Baker Drivetrain. Black from Cycle Source Magazine is in there. Signed by Jim Heath. We got a video of Jim Heath going over it. And now we got you that used to work for Sucker Punch. So what did you do with this? In this time period in Arizona, I worked at Sucker Punch Sally's and I was the only guy in there that was like a manual machinist and I did a lot of prep work on the frames and I definitely absolutely worked on it during this time period and a buddy of mine, Justin Piltingsgrude, somewhere in Colorado right now, this was like his baby and he did a giant amount of work on it. He'll be proud if he catches this video. That's it's awesome. great to see bikes I had something to do with so long ago, you know? There you go, yeah, guys. Hopefully. Another part of the story behind this motorcycle. It's freaking crazy. So after that, we ended up talking to one of the guys that's responsible for... <laughs> I'm just hugging you, they can't see me. <laughs> You're not escaping. Responsible for uh, incoming Ace Cafe. So Sean from 73 Moto ended up talking to him. Seminole Harley Davidson kind of linked us up. He's putting on a concert. So the Reverend Horton Heat is playing this weekend. Like I said, if you guys want any of those lanyards, passes, general, whatever. I'll be sure to get those up. I mean, comment down below. If you want one, if you're gonna be in the area, let us know, swing by the shop, pick one up, they're free. We basically started talking to Sean. Sean linked us up with the promoter. The promoter talked to Jim Heath, which is the lead singer of the Reverend Horton Heat, told him about the motorcycle. And this bike is now going to be on stage with the Reverend Horton Heat. Badass, going from not really knowing anything about it to figuring out they had music and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, finding the finding the plaque that he got back in the day, coming across the video. We've got his autograph on the back of that. It's just crazy, the story behind this. And then bam, now we're gonna meet him. We're gonna be there. And the bike is gonna be with him on stage Saturday, May 18th, doors at 4 p.m. at Seminole Harley Davidson. Like I said, we are giving the bike away. So what we're gonna do is, cause we couldn't really decide what to do with it. 
Uh, we're gonna give the bike away and then we're gonna give whoever wins it an allotment to basically do whatever they want. So we'll give them a budget, say, all right, whatever you wanna do up to this point, let us know and we will do it. So if you guys wanna get entered to win that, head over to blockheadgiveaways.com, sign up, select a tier, you guys are in. You get entered monthly to potentially win that motorcycle. If you get various other perks, early access to episodes, exclusive access to our Discord, big discounts on our merchandise, such as moto suds, all purpose cleaner, t shirts, exhaust. Okay, coming soon. The discounts for the exhaust. Yeah, I don't know if it's a discounts. smaller discount, but smaller. it is there. Yeah. So, on note of our cleaning products, uh, we have gotten a huge response from you guys. We've been shipping these things all over the place. I'm going to be straight up. I know exactly what it sounds like with us selling these things, be like, Hooray, we got new bike detailing products, but wait, there's more, Billy Mays, blah, blah, blah. I know we, we sound salesman-y, and that is, y'all know me, like I've never been like that. I'm not gonna like put a product out there with our name on it. For how long I've been doing this shit, for how long we've worked to make this like a premium name with like integrity behind it, we're not gonna put some shit out there that doesn't actually perform. For us to put this out, we've gone through lots of testing with it. We've worked with the company, a huge, massive chemical manufacturer, like massive, massive, massive. And we've had these tailor-made for Blockhead Garage, for Blockhead Moto, with that focus on the motorcycle industry. And here's what I love, is whenever people buy it, or I give it to them, because I've given a lot of it away, whenever we get a follow-up phone call, yo, this sh works. And like the excitement, and they're like, I don't have to scrub like the brake dust off my wheels. Also, it works on more than just motorcycles. You can use it on your cars and stuff too. That shit works fucking great. And I sprayed it on my front where it was just like, you know, packed with the bugs from Texas. I sprayed it, get the wipes, come back out and just wipe it right off. And I'm like, get out of here. Cause usually, you know, you're scrubbing that stuff off. That shit works great, man. I couldn't believe that. It works guys. We're not, we're not trying to like, you know, just get your money or anything like that. We want to give you a product. It's something that we use. It's been doing great. Also, yeah. just to let you guys know, this is something we need to talk about as well. This is just a huge update video. <laughs> I made a video a while back saying I don't want to do this anymore. One of those things that I did not want to do, brand management, a lot of that little nitty gritty stuff where like I had these ideas and I took it up to a certain point. I wasn't able to take it across the finish line. Amanda is responsible for taking many of those things across the finish line. These cleaning products being one of them, the exhaust being another one of them, the website, being another one of them, like having this stuff up for sale, making sure we're above board. So Anna, uh, for those of you that don't know, put in her, she put in like a six month notice, like long ago, which I totally understand. She was basically like recognized and understood that like this is growing to a point that's like, it's out of her uh, realm of expertise. She also changed jobs and she got super busy, so she couldn't commit the time to it. She knew somebody else would be better suited for the job. Enter Amanda. I don't even know how it all happened came down to visit and got sucked in to stay. <laughs> no, but for real, um, this is like my bread and butter and my passion and I love doing the stuff that they don't wanna do and you guys all have amazing ideas. Um, you have so many things that were in the pipeline that just weren't getting done because everybody was so busy and there was a lot going on. So it's nice to take what you guys have, take your ideas and then just finish it. What was the thing that you were talking about that we have incoming that you wanted to? <laughs> Let's not talk about that just yet. We've got a really, really big thing in the works for you guys that we're not going to talk about. You guys probably haven't even seen the episodes around that are leading up to it, but it's going to be big. It's going to be really big. I guess just to transition back over to the detailing stuff, we got a ton of requests from you guys for matte or denim. Denim, matte, flat finish. I've never heard that before. Right, denim. <laughs> denim. I don't know why Harley says it like that. Like, I always say denim, denim, denim. But we got a ton of requests for denim. So uh, we are working on developing a formula uh, that will work with denim, that is safe with denim. I think that's the part that you were starting on that people don't understand is it's not like we're literally not just like taking a product and putting our name on it. Like you're looking through the formulas, you're contacting those companies, we're filling them all, filling all of them, labeling them all, capping them all, shipping them all, doing everything ourselves. Like I said, there's this massive, massive chemical company that we're working with in developing these products. Like they have not developed a matte specific products. And so we're working with them to create that. A couple of you guys were like, looks like chemical guys. That's so flattering because chemical guys is massive. Literally, I designed the labels myself, collaborated with this, uh, with this company that is like helping us to manufacture them. We're manufacturing it. So <laughs> we've got the bottles, we've got the caps. We've uh, a full day just to bottle them. <laughs> yeah. So Amanda and I came here on a weekend, on a Sunday, and we stayed here for probably like six, seven hours. 
trying to fill up these shelves and then you guys basically order a bunch and then we had to figure <laughs> out shipping and then we had to figure out like what's the best box for it and then to so those of you that ordered it and you ordered the moto suds and this went like that during shipping and you lost half of it it's one of those things we learned as well so now we're not shipping it with that cap anymore it's been a huge success and we can't thank you guys enough we really appreciate it if you guys are interested in scooping any of them up link down in the description below we got so happy over learning how to print labels <laughs> from a label printer like Small win. yeah it was like just Big one win. of those in the very beginning we were like yay we got the formatting correct and it's so much nicer being able to use a label printer on to the next stuff we've got a bunch of stuff for sale we're gonna call it like the blockhead garage sale i guess we've got an indian tank we've got some wheels over here that we were going to use for a build that we never ended up using We've got the emblems for it, gauge and split tank for a pan head. Went on a 1960 pan head. We've got a DJI Ronin S front fender, rear fender, subframe for a Scout DID 525 chain lines for a CBR. Just a ton of stuff to get rid of that we can clear all this space and use it for uh, shipping and receiving. What else? This is a fun one. We got uh, Hard Candy Custom Harley Davidson. Dyna in here. So this actually belongs to Reese and Olivia uh, doing some stuff for it. Super cool to see a, a red flaky hard candy custom through here for those of you that don't remember. I ended up grabbing one of those that was a Iron 883 which I ended up using the frame for this project. Now you guys are probably asking yourselves why the hell is this project not done? It's been sitting around for a while. We have gotten incredibly busy, if you haven't noticed. Um, we are on the continued exhaust manufacturing note, uh, going to be starting something soon for Amanda's bike here, which is uh, Chieftain. So we're gonna be getting it up on this nice, clean lift, getting some exhaust stuff done. So many projects, guys, so many projects. We've got a couple frames over here. Uh, we've got an iron head sportster that we're doing a chopper project on shovel head heads here also within these boxes within these two crates right here uh, we've got a whole other iron head i think justin and i have talked about probably just going to give it to justin and we're going to do like a iron head chopper like cheap chopper project episodes coming on that soon we were able to grab that one and another one and a frame for pretty cheap big shout out to gator mike also we recently got this air conditioner fixed is that extra ac feeling okay yeah it's livable because you guys signed up for the website we were able to buy a season pay the electric bill for chris sick wide glad to work in an air conditioned shop hey we need one more <laughs> up. signing up i need one here we we're just talking to the ac repair guy he's like we can install another one like right here that would contain the whole building like we'd be fine but we don't know if we're staying here or not and lease renewal is coming up no, soon crazy to think it's been three years just about three years no wild yeah. Felt like it was yesterday. Any other updates you want to throw into this one since it's just an update video? Not that I can think of. People like your hat. Thanks. Yeah. Same color as the painter's tape. I like my hat too. If y'all really want one, I might make one, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel. It's my hat. You know what I mean? It's my hat. You guys. No, I'm teasing. I don't have any updates other than my mess is growing. I have super cool parts for my Grom. I have a stage three for the Grom. I even have a stage four for my own bike. You know, I'm so far behind, I don't even get to around on my own stuff. I want to make my Grom fast. I want to make my bike faster, but no, I'm too busy making all y'all shit fast. So I don't get to do my own stuff. I just need a front end on that. If anybody wants to stop in and put a front end in that for me, I'll tune it tomorrow and we'll get it out of here. <laughs> that one just needs to be finished up the wiring. Anybody wants to come in and just connect that shit and we'll slap everything on and figure out how to start it. This one's stuck. Flywheel's He doesn't even know yet. Sorry, Flywheel's Mr. Bird, at the end. See, there your bike's on the rack. It's getting done. Don't worry, Phil. James is up. You'll be next. I know you're asking Justin and he comes out and asks me. So as soon as one of these rolls down, you'll be up and then we'll try to get you done by your time. I'm doing this on the update video because it's easier for me to update you to your face. There you go. Chris's updates. That's, that's it. Go give him a follow at Sick Wide Glide. Ask him for updates over there. <laughs> Don't ask him for updates on Instagram. It'd be <laughs> I'm two weeks behind and only following the target behind. Yeah, like Billy Lane said, never ahead. That's an incoming episode too, you guys haven't seen yet. Also, Rodney's grandpa's bike, incoming episode. Lots of incoming episodes. We're falling behind, guys. But we're falling up, so that's good. But I think that's it. I think that's the update. Any other updates? Besides new parts, new employees, new concerts, new motorcycles, new dog, um, 
No, I'm pretty sure that covers it. New dog. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, new dog since the last couple months, I guess. Tyson, <laughs> are you ready so to go home? <laughs> He's like, take me home. Yeah. Tyson, are you ready to go home? Ready Where do people go to follow you? Bobber the Dame. The Dame. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Dame. The Bobber was her last bike. <laughs> Bobber was my first bike. ST fairing, low rider ST fairing is off. That's actually going in a box because we're going to do something special with it to be announced. Which brings us back to the front of the shop. I should have plugged that in so we look more legit, right? Like the rear rock one, but you know. Whatever, I'm lazy. Hope you guys have enjoyed the update video. Uh, Daniel, once again, get a hold of us so we can send you your t-shirt, which we'll sign or not sign. If you don't want us to sign it, we don't have to sign it. And uh, stickers and your Joe Dirty Bike Bundle. If you guys want to grab any of this stuff, if you're not Daniel, can we offer him a discount? Like for this episode, if they didn't win, we can give them like five or 10% off or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will have a, if you put Blockhead 10 at checkout, have it on the website, you get 10% off. If you guys didn't win, but you still want to scoop a shirt or some cleaning product or whatever, use discount code BLOCKHEAD10 and it'll give you 10% off. That's all the updates. Let us know your thoughts. Comment down below. Super thankful to be as busy as we are. It's all thanks to you guys. What am I trying to say here? You're staying with us through the phases. Like you go through like, it's like teenage years. You go through the awkward phase and the good phase and you know, you go through all these little times in your life and they've stayed. All the emails I get and people are like, I've been here since the beginning and I haven't been here since the beginning. So it's really cool to hear all the stories of people who learned to ride from you, who have been through this whole journey. So you got to go through the slow phase, the busy phase, different people, different dogs. Zuko is still around, so. Yeah, he's at home. Zuko's still here. He's, he's our HR manager. He's <laughs> the best at home. <laughs> no, him and Riddle um, are best friends now. So they spend their days at home. And Tyson <laughs> just wants to go back home. He just wants to go home. But yeah, on that note, thank you guys for sticking around. I know like we've been through like, damn, man, it's been just insane. Like, you know, from starting or like me starting in my garage or working in parking lots and doing how-to videos, like how to install this exhaust for us to like get to the point now. It's like, well, here's how to install our exhaust, which is just, you know, mind blowing. It's all thanks to you guys. Like we literally started the shop with focus on the community, giving you guys access to a shop that is reputable, trustful, reliable, that you're able to basically take your bike to, you know, give us your baby and like, you're gonna get it back better than when you got it. And we wanna do that with this community. We wanna do that with our products, cleaners to the exhaust. We've got lots more hard parts coming out um, that are in the works, so just stay tuned. Oh, actually, one of the things I, I kind of lightly wanted to touch on was the, the longer we're in this and the more success we see, the bigger we grow and the more stuff we do, the more I'm finding that we're stepping on toes. Um, we're, we're making enemies, which I think is so funny because, um, you know, we just love motorcycles and we're literally just trying to like have fun and do our own thing and make our own like little path and, you know, make our own little area within motorcycles. So really not trying to step on anybody's toes or, you know, offend, but but we're gonna do what the f we want. We're doing it for the community. So hope you guys are enjoying what we're doing. It's because of y'all that we are able to do it. So thank you again, appreciate you. Thing is getting along winded, so let's go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let us know your thoughts and opinions, comment down below. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon also, so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time, you guys. Tell your mom. Ride safe. What? Tell your mom. Said, oh, tell your mom, yeah. Share it, tell your mom, tell your dad. Tell your brother and sister, and um, till next time, ride safe, stay vigilant. So I'm looking around for like an RSSV thing. All right. Peace.